Hi, today I've got a couple of quick and easy tips on making bridges, a couple of devices that might help you uh, make that job a little easier, a little bit less frustrating. Uh, as you know, of course, tops are generally domed. They're rarely perfectly flat. And I like to match the underside of my bridge perfectly to the dome of the top. And that's not hard to do. If you're working with a radius dish, which I am all the time now, um, it's not too hard to do. So I'm going to turn the camera down. I'm going to be off camera, but you can see what's happening here. The first thing I did was I take my, uh, my dish and I want to match this block to it. All I did was cut out a, what, probably I'm going to say four by nine or thereabouts block of hardwood. And I just took that block of wood and I put it on my, my dish and I swirl it around on there, put some pencil marks on it. I'm not going to swirl it because I've already got abrasive on here, but you swirl that around, put some pencil marks on there. And when you see them all disappear, you know, you've got that radius. Now you have a positive of that radius and you can do that for any number of dishes that you have. I have, I use a 30 foot, a 25 foot and a 40 foot. So this is wonderful because now I'm going to rotate you here a little bit toward my vise. I just screwed that thing to this block right here. And by putting that in the vise, Now I can take my bridge and I'll start this process with a scraper to just to get that concave a little bit. Put a pencil mark on it so that you can see when everything is gone. And you give it that action for a while and pretty soon that's going to be perfectly domed. And it isn't just arched, it's domed because this is a dome so this is the positive of that dome. And you can watch until the pencil marks disappear, or in this case, you might even be able to see the sanding marks that go across it. So it's very easy to do. Well, what about when you get the bridge all formed up? You see, I've got it formed here, and I'm slotted, and I'm drilled, and I've even cut away the wings. Everything is just fine, except I want to do some refining on this. To me, to glue this bridge down, with this flat surface, we're not even done. This needs to be arched a little bit, and we need to take some weight off the back and radius that front edge. So I came up with these. I have several of these for different size bridges, and I have one for a classical guitar. And you could, if you want, I've not done it with this one, but you could even put this on your radius here, on your dish, and you could make that same uh, positive doming for that, but you don't really need to. I just put one of these in the vise, and as I said, I have one of these for um, a 12 string bridge, and I've got one for classical guitar bridges, so you know I'm covered as to what I need. If I just double face tape this, and by the way, this profile is a little bit smaller than the bridge. Um, I'd say a sixteenth of an inch or less all the way around so that I can get to it. Now, by taping that down, I can get at this with files, rasps, uh, whatever I need to do to finesse that bridge and turn it into just what I want. It's nice and stable so that I can sand it. And when I'm all done, I peel it up off there and the bridge will be ready for gluing to the top. I hope you found those helpful and useful. I am the pragmatic Luther. That's why I make this stuff because I'm pragmatic and that means, yeah, cheap. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you put a like on this and maybe subscribe to my channel. Thanks. I'm Kevin Ledoux at Ledoux Guitars, the pragmatic Luther.